Hello, uh, today is a very nice early spring day here. Um, today I'm going to be casting decorative uh, stone, or you could call them stepping stones too, whichever one you want to use them for. Sunflowers in two tones. I'm going to use the brown colorant to do the area where the seeds would be symbolically on this. And then I'm going to use buff for where the floral arrangement would be on the sunflower symbolically. Uh, I'm going to be using Quick Creek 5000 because it dries quickly and it's very strong with an early yield. Um, and by the time it hits 28 days, roughly, you know, a couple, you know, three weeks, it's going to get to 5,000 pounds, which is extremely strong. You step on it, it's not going to crack. Uh, really good concrete for this. It is about, I'd say, about 40% more than regular concrete, but well worth it considering all the work and detail that we're going to be putting into these. Um, if you're new at casting concrete, uh, you know, watch the whole video. I'm going to go step by step by step showing you all the steps that I take for this. Um, and I'll be using all of this stuff and you'll see how it's being used. So come on along and uh, let's make some decorative stepping stones or decorative yard art, which I'm going to be using it for in my garden. Okay, come on along. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, add a gallon and a half of water for the brown. You know, for the brown, technically, you could get away with uh, three gallons of water. But I want the brown to be really strong or very pronounced. So I'm going, uh, you know, basically what you would uh, mix one bag with. One bag of concrete. So you know, I've got my water in. And... Now I'm going to pour this, so you want to be careful with it. This is really, really messy. So as much as you can, try not to spill it. Now with the brown, there's every bottle there's going to be leftover colorant in here. So what you want to do is to put water in here, put the lid back on and shake it up so you clear out the bottle so you stay consistent. I'm going to go ahead and add water. You know, enough to help clear this bottle out. Once again, to stay clean, put that lid on nice and tight and shake it up. And we'll go ahead and pour that in. And we're looking real good. And I'm taking it to, to about a gallon and a half. This will be about three gallons to buff. Okay, so you can see I have a fan going. That's to blow or move the concrete uh, dust in that direction. You notice that the, the fan is blowing it in the opposite direction. You don't want to breathe this. You know, if you don't have a fan, use a respirator and uh, also wear, uh, you know, some kind of goggles. But eyeball the water pouring, you know, go very sparingly. You can always add more. a good consistency uh, for me. Real nice mix. Color seems to be in there pretty well. There's a little gray I need to get rid of. Next step is prepare the mold. Okay, so uh, concrete's get a very sticky thing and you want something to release it. Um, I'm going to use something natural, cooking oil spray. You know, you could use motor oil, but yeah, who wants to get motor oil on their hand? But I'm just going to give it a light spray and then I'll wipe it with a rag and that looks real good to me put in my brown shovel it in there there we go make sure you can see that i'm putting it in i'm going to go a little bit high but i want to stay out where the flowers are so i'm going to come up high and then at an angle, like this, let it sit high up here, and then I can work it down and around there. Um, hope you can see that, what I'm doing. Try and hold this up. They sell uh, professional um, table vibrators for this kind of work, uh, but you know, I, I've, I've found that using a, you know, a, a general muscle massager works really well. You want to get the air bubbles out. And you can see that the cement's going to run out. I'll push it back. It's going to help get rid of these bubbles. Uh, you can see 
see the bubbles coming up. And I'll come back and clean it up in a minute. And you can see the bubbles popping up. And that, you know, that, that will kind of affect your casting. Just push them back to bolt. And then I'll come back with a rag and wipe it to get the brown out of there. I will be pouring in buff after about two hours is what I'm going to wait uh, for this. Two hours for this to start solidifying. Okay, so I'm gonna, getting ready for the pour. I made these risers. They're about three-eighths of an inch uh, high uh, because the uh, um, seed component on this particular casting uh, is lower than the floral part. So I'm putting them under here to hold it up to keep everything even. You could easily, you know, put them in a, a, a box of sand to cast it if you wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and use this technique. You can see I've got them here. Staying off of the concrete here, there's no reason to get oil on that. We want those two to stick together nicely, which they should do just fine. And uh, there we go. Okay, so uh, it's pretty much done. You know, I, I'm not going to put this in, but uh, you're going to use these. If some people like to hang things on their garden walls. Notice that it's got it's loops and it's wired here, so you'd, be, you'd slip it into the concrete. I'll go ahead and do it and remove it. You would slip it down in here like that, work it in, and those loops, the concrete would come around and surround it and it wouldn't come out, and you could use it for a hanger. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to, I just wanted to show that to you. So tomorrow I'll remove it and show you uh, the end result. Okay, so I just took these out of the mold. Very easy to do. Uh, I wet them down, you know, to get the, some of the dust off. You can see that you've got your brown and your buff. Uh, both of them looking really good. Um, the colors are nice and subtle and pronounced. The buff has enough yellow into it that we get the symbolism behind it. Uh, just a reminder that, you know, uh, I'm not here to plug it, but I know how good the material is. Quick Creep 5000 for casting these things. In three weeks, this will be able to handle 5000 PSI. That means you can ride a bicycle over it. In about three weeks, it's still curing. Right now, it's probably at about 1500 to 2000 PSI, and it's going to quickly accelerate in that given amount of time to get to 5000. Anyways, hey, thanks for watching. You really stuck with this video. Uh, and to my new subscribers, I appreciate you subscribing. Thank you very much. All right. Have a great day.